Hello and welcome to Techie Chap. In today's episode, uh, I'm going to be taking a look at LXQT. Now, LXQT, uh, in this case, I am using it as my new desktop environment on my old W520 ThinkPad laptop. Yes, my favorite laptop. It started to run really, really slowly on KDE. Um, I had upgraded to FreeBSD 13.2. However, I don't think that was the reason for it running slowly. I think the reason for it running slowly was I just <laughs> was going a bit overboard on my graphical enhancements to KDE, um, wobbly windows and everything else. And I think it was just a bit too much for the old beast. So. I decided to uh, take this opportunity and install something much lighter and uh, a few more of my videos will go over the customization of LXQT. However, today uh, we are going to be tackling wireless networking. But before we do that, let's just take a look at the resources uh, as they are running on this pretty new build of LXQT. Uh, full disclosure, I have been trying different uh, desktop environments and window managers to try and find the right combo for me uh, on uh, my ThinkPad. Uh, however, I'm kind of settled on LXQT, but I think wireless networking and BSD is a bit of a universal uh, subject as somebody pointed out on one of my comments uh, on uh, a BSD review, uh, not many reviewers tackle the subject of wireless networking. And in this video, I will attempt to do so. Albeit, um, I am aided by FreeBSD 13.2, having already detected my hardware. However, how exactly do I easily switch between wireless networks whilst using FreeBSD? Well, thankfully, there are tools out there. There are a couple of tools actually available for FreeBSD to do just that. So we are going to install on this machine one of them. And uh, so I'm going to switch to uh, my root user. And of course, being a member of the wheel group, I'm allowed to do that. And we're going to search for something called Network MGR. Now, Network MGR is a bit of a team up effort with FreeBSD and GhostBSD developers, uh, and they've come up with this very friendly tool for being able to switch uh, between wireless networks. And I think it works great. It's fairly modern looking. Um, there is another tool, but it looks pretty dated. Uh, we won't go into that tool because we'll focus in on Network MGR. As you can see, it's only 2 meg in size and uh, so very quick to install. Um, obviously, I'm not attached to the wireless network at the moment. I have my Ethernet cable plugged in. OK, so I've tried to run Network MDR there uh, as uh, whilst logged in as root. And of course, that comes up with an error because it won't allow you to do that. I've run Network MGR um, and I've tried to connect to my local SSID. However, I do get this very odd error and that error is permission denied. I'm not allowed to edit WPA underscore supplicant dot conf. Now, if you're familiar with BSD already, you will know that the manual way of connecting to wireless networks is to edit the WPA underscore supplicant dot conf. However, that particular file is locked down. So uh, no Tom, Dick and Harry can <laughs> edit that file. Uh, you have to have the relevant permissions to do that. Now, how do I get this working? Because the TechieChap user, my TechieChap user, uh, needs to be able to edit that file to be able to switch wireless networks. Well, the answer is to use something either sudo or something called do as. Now, full disclosure, uh, I have been trying different um, different desktop environments on my laptop, different window managers on my laptop to try and find a good fit. Um, and I have ended up with LXQT. And uh, I, I'm thinking about 
doing a couple more videos or at least one more video just showing how I customize LXQT. However, uh, in this particular video, obviously we are focused in on wireless networking and we are focused on how to get this uh, network MGR tool running with the TechieChap standard user. So this is the way. Um, you have to add this into your doas.conf. Now, um, actually, it's not going to allow me to save this file because I've done all of that uh, whilst logged in as the standard user. And of course, uh, I haven't put do as in front of that either. So, <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to uh, not save that. And <laughs> let's just log in now as root and let's edit the uh, doas.conf again. There we go. Uh, <laughs> there we go. So we can go through that again. I'm just going to insert a line here under WPA underscore subsequent. Uh, right, permit, no pass. Uh, and what we're doing here is we are saying keep ENV. I permit, no pass, keep the user environment, that currently logged in user environment, in my case, TechieChap. Uh, TechieChap is a member of Wheel, so this should work. Uh, we are going to run as root the command network MGR. So we are keeping the user environment. So um, nothing's changing in the user environment. This network MGR will run as root, but it will keep the user environment variables. Uh, and because TechieChap is a member of the wheel group, this command should work. So I hope that uh, that makes it a little bit clearer as to why we are adding this into our do it do as uh, configuration. So having done all that, we are going to uh, save those changes and um, we are going to not do this, which is <laughs> uh, uh, try to run do as whilst logged in as root because indeed we will get an error as you can see there. Um, and uh, sometimes these errors look quite scary when they pop up and you're thinking, oh, what on earth is going on? However, it's um, <laughs> so many times uh, down to um, the squishy stuff between our ears that causes those errors. OK, so I've exited out of root and I'm now going to run network MGR uh, using do as. Uh, so do as space network MGR and as you can see in the bottom right down here uh, it is running and I am now able to select my wireless network and for the sake of security and by the magic of video I am going to pause this and uh, magically insert my password there we go it's now inserted okay I'm going to try and connect have uh, because uh, I haven't actually restarted my PC, um, it will come up with this error. And I do need to do a full reboot for this command to work properly. So having restarted, and we shall do that uh, in a second. There we go. So I've restarted my simple screen recorder. You can see actually it's already connected. Now, to get network MGR uh, working, um, essentially what I need to do is put this into a, a auto start, um, which means within my session, when it loads, there are certain applications that will load at startup. Now, uh, most, uh, most desktop environments, they have um, a auto start uh, manager and uh, in this case uh, this is what I've done you can see I, all, all I've done is I've literally replicated the terminal command and put do as network uh, MGR and that means network manager starts on startup and that's it really that is how you get it up and running with in FreeBSD uh, wireless networking for you all nicely connected if you've enjoyed this video and you like what you see please click on like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.